Hello Saints, this is Prophet Peter Spencer and today I'm led to do a prayer uh, on defeating my father's devils defeating my father's devils defeating my mother's devil many people don't even realize it but they are fighting the great grandmother's devil they are fighting the great dad granddad's devil they're fighting their mother's devil, their father's devil. They're fighting battles that they didn't even understand themselves or even know how they got in this war. Some of them have sickness in their body and diseases and don't even know why they're afraid of water. Some of them are afraid of commitment in relationships. Some of them are afraid of success, afraid of failure, afraid of, of going in the sea, afraid of walking at night, afraid of driving a car, and they don't even know why they have some of these fears. Afraid to speak in public, afraid to talk to people. Just afraid, and they don't even understand that they're fighting their fathers and mothers' demons. These demons and spirits come in through the bloodline, you hear me? And we're going to pray about this in a second. Because the Bible says that a curse without a cause is like a burden flight that can't land. It also states that that the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are on edge. It also states that curse is the man who makes an idol or a molten image, an abomination to the Lord, the work of his hands or the craftsman's and set it up in secret. And all the people shall answer and say Amen. Many people have family idols that are dominating their house, unseen to the average person, unseen in public, but in secret, in secret, they worship these things. They worship these things. This is one of the things that they do. Okay? You shall speak to the sons of Israel, saying, If anyone curses his God, then he will bear a sin. Many people have been cursing God and silent. They've been cursing God in secret. And so our forefathers, they have trifled with other gods, made covenants with other things. And so we wonder and why we find that we have stagnation, we have limitations, we cannot seem to stay married. Because that is a bloodline demon that you are fighting from your mother and father and you do not even understand that this is a bill that you didn't ask. They're giving you a bill that you didn't ask for. They're telling you you must pay a debt that you yourself know nothing about. And so spiritually, many people are baffled and to the point where they just decide, I'm just going to do what I want to do. You know, why do I always feel a propensity to go out there and commit fornication? Why am I always, you know, hopping from friend to friend? Why I can't seem to stay in a stable relationship where there's uh, with a fiance, a boyfriend, girlfriend, or even friends. Why do I church hop um, when I feel a certain time I have to go? Why is it that I just sabotage all of my plans when I'm getting close to success or I'm starting to succeed? Why do I have this vagabond curse where I'm constantly being ejected, evicted, uh, put out, put uh, turned out, scorned? Why? Why are these, why are these things happening to me? Well, I want to tell you. That some of us are paying a debt that we didn't ask for. And it's sad because it is a debt they left us. There's nothing worse than when someone tells you you have a bill and you say, I don't know where this bill comes from. Actually, I had that happen to me. They were using up my credit. They were using up my credit on an account I had. I didn't know it. And they called me and gave me a hefty bill. I mean, it took years to pay off. So that's a bill that I didn't I didn't do. I said, listen, I never came here and I never charged any of these things. They say, well, your name is on this, right? The company name is here. Well, those who were working with you and those who were in partnership with you, they were the ones coming here and charging up this credit and the bill comes due. Many people don't understand that the bill is coming due and they feel like, Lord, why can't I ever seem to make it? Why is it like I'm always in the deficit? I can't save money if... You know, it was to save my life. I don't know why I'm 
constantly having mental battles, mind attacks. All right, there's heaviness on me all the time. That's because you're paying a bill that you yourself have not done. There's nothing you did. There's nothing you did. But it's opened you up. You're wondering why you're constantly being attacked. Because of what is on you and around you from the depth your, your mother and father and forefathers brought to you. And so now what's happening is people attacking you because that's the spirit that your forefathers were carrying. They carry the spirit of animosity. They carry the spirit of hatred. They carry the spirit of rejection. They carry the spirit of enmity. And so you're finding yourself paying this bill where people are starting to scorn you who once loved you and cherished you and celebrated you, now they're scorning you, chasing you, you know, just being short with you, and, and basically just, just, just turning their backs on you. This is a bill that you yourself have not even dealt with. You have done nothing, you hear me? You've done nothing. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come against every false and foul spirit that's been an assignment against your life. I cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and I break the power right now. I curse this thing at the root and command it to dry up. I rip it from the from the from the center and from the roots right now. Every single ancient ancestral debt collector that has been trying to collect a debt on you, that's been trying to bring you into bondage to pay something that you don't even owe, and making you pay it in one shape or the other through pain, misery torment, broken relationship, horrible, terrible dreams, dream attacks, dream uh, 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 contamination and pollution, and dream defeat. When was the last time you had a victory in a dream? When was the last time you were able to have a good night's sleep and wake up with a dream where you were moving forward in life? Why does it always have to be where you're dreaming about centipedes and dreaming about dead people and dreaming about strange people and strange creatures that you can't even describe because it's it's ridiculous you can you can't even understand why sometimes you always under the water or swimming in lakes and swimming in seas or you in strange places or people are coming at you and and you know you're seeing your family members some of you are seeing your family members you're seeing family members that are rejecting you and trying to turn you out and trying to speak against you in the dream there are some people that spoke so much evil over you from the time you would uh, uh, you know, a child, you will never be nothing, you'll never amount to nothing, you're good for nothing, you're a whore, you're a harlot, you're a louse, you're a loser, all you use is a playboy, all you use is a waste of sperm, all you use is a waste of time, why are you even, why are you even born, you're just taking a bread, taking a food, all you're doing is a, is a body, all you use is a body, you're, you're going you're gonna to amount to nothing, you're a waste, you, 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 you don't even understand that you come here and all you're doing is, is mucking up our place, wherever you carry, wherever you come, uh, wherever you go, you carry a curse with you. There are people who would literally speak those things over you. You hear me? So, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bring all that are listening under the sound of my voice right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will not pay a debt from your forefathers. You will not pay a debt from your uncle. You will not pay a debt from your auntie. You will not pay that debt from your grandmother or grand-aunt or great-grand-aunt or any ancestors that have been uh, fighting you and fighting your life through the bloodline. I curse and cancel this thing. I sever the ties. I break it right now. Lord, I ask that Father God, the one who's listening right now, that you will release them from ancestral depths. Lord, they're paying the bill from their father's devil and their mother's devil and their grandmother's devil and their grandfather's devil and their ancient ancestors' devils and they're still fighting those devils. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that it is broken over your life. It is broken in the name of Jesus. I cut it off. I cancel it. I rip it. I shred it. I eviscerate it. I annihilate it right now. I command you to loose the people of God. The one who is listening right now. I command a healing in your generation man. In your generation man. From the root. Going back 20, side, 20 generations on your mother's side. And on your father's side, 20 generations, Lord, let the healing begin. Let those doors be closed. Let every generational taproot and generational trauma that they've experienced, even transgenerational trauma that they've experienced at a powerful level, I decree that is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I loose you from that. I loose you from that. I break this thing of your life. I break this grip of your life. I break this power of your life. 
I break this thing over your life. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over everything you're doing. You will owe nobody, no man, you will owe no man nothing. People are always bringing bills to you. People are always trying to put you in trouble. The banks always call you. Mortgage companies always call you. This one always running you off of money. That, that is over. I cast that down and I curse that. You will be the one who is the lender and not the borrower. You'll be above only and not beneath. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release this to you. I decree today you are coming out of Lodibar. You're coming out of Pishka. You're coming out of Egypt. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release you now. I release you now. Be set free. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen and amen. Please listen to this continually. Amen. Put it on repeat. Uh, this is going to be posted on YouTube as well. And I want you guys to download it and listen to it all the time. Amen. Because God is doing something in your life. And he's breaking these ancient curses that have been coming to, to keep you in bondage. I, I curse this thing. Amen. I curse it over your life and release the blessing to you. I release prosperity. I release that men will give it to your bosom. Amen. They will give to you. They will give to you and they'll prosper you. You will see relationships upcoming. You will see breakthrough. You'll pay your bills off. You'll owe no man nothing. In Jesus Christ, by the name. Amen and amen.